We're off. What is happening, ladies and gents? Welcome to In Your City. I'm your guy, Arrington Gavin. Joining me always is my family, comedian Ciroc Fox, hustle queen Miss Michelle Young, and our awesome producer, Mr. Cam Golly. Family, how's everybody doing today? And that banner is huge when we're like not in person. Hold on, let me I like it because it's covering up Ciroc. So please, no, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna, uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Covering his biceps. Titty. <laughs> <Did he? laughs> <Did he? laughs> please do not take too. a titty out, bro. Please he, don't. Do, not, it. Ru- no. do, it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. 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 <laughs> I don't know who Michelle is today, guys. First this ain't of all, that, because this it's, ain't it's, that type hey. of. She got, she got some new hair, it's a different woman right now. We don't know. They this do Michelle. look good though. They do look I good. Let's not play like they don't. Yo, I, I take this back. Yeah, they do. They do. This, this is, they this, do. This is not Mardi Gras, goddamn. This is not Mardi Gras, sir. We don't have they're any beans so for you. No beans. Oh, Wait, oh, man. I forgot Cam Godley. You didn't say his name. I thought. I, I thought I did. You didn't say my name, bro. I did say your name. Wow. You didn't say my name, bro? I, I very much did say wow. your name, but I'll say, I'll say it again. I'll say it twice. Our awesome producer, Mr. Cam Godley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought we, I felt like we didn't hear that part, but okay. Anyways, <laughs> after I was brutally interrupted from Mr. Titties over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me start off. Crazy. <laughs> let me start it off Mr. first. Titties? With, you know, <laughs> That's let wild. me let me start off the conversation first uh with you know our award winning uh well I don't know ours my award winning dad jokes. <laughs> okay, okay, let me go ahead and bring it down. <laughs> what what right. award what award did it win? What did they win? Yeah. No, no, we're gonna call you on that. What what award? <laughs> Yo, that was like a Republican interview. That was like, <laughs> that was like- <laughs> Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject, sir. Don't change the subject. Yeah, we, answer the not, question. Answer the we're question. Not, we're not going to get that off. We're definitely not going to get that off. I won plenty of awards, a, a bunch of awards, oh. all the top ones, Go a lot ahead. of them. Anyways, why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Why what? Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Because it got stuck in a crack. Any of y'all ever had that issue? Like you wiping it? Ooh, thought you had it. That's why it's important to use the wet wipes. It's so crazy how bad that made it. Like that that yeah. extra, that extra. It actually made it worse. Yeah, it did. Oh my god, <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm the only one. No. Yeah, you took it into a really bad place. I did I? Like. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> you yeah. tell about you too much of your life. Too much of your life. Yeah. I'm, just, like, I'm being oh, honest. Great. I'm being honest to the listeners. So you I'm have a clean ass. Honest. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Does he? Because because oh, toilet yeah. paper is apparently getting stuck in there. So you know. I mean, you gotta make sure. That's why I said wet wipes is more like <laughs> beneficial because you don't have that issue. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But anyway. but not the Lysol ones, right, Ciroc? Not the Lysol. <laughs> that was Aaron's fault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 Ciroc. That... Yeah, Ciroc. Yo, yo, Michelle's getting good. She's getting good. <laughs> <laughs> Sirac- Sirac over there by the fan, guy didn't have his, <laughs> have his ass cheeks out to the fan. And give you that icy hot feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start jumping? <laughs> man, look, y'all. So first, first thing I gotta bring up, man. We gonna dedicate this to the the R and B group. Is it T G T G T? Right, Tank mm-hmm. Genuine and Tyrese. Or Tyrese, Tyrese anyone, whoever. So, uh, two of those members, both the T's actually, are uh, involved in some in some crazy uh, news. So, er- and I'm sure I'm after- sure genuine is too. We just don't know about it right now. We just, but- haven't, we just haven't seen the article yet. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so, so let's start off with Tank. Tank is getting a lot of heat after he was recently on the Stephen A. Smith show, and he said, "Look, Chris Brown is much better than Michael Jackson." In, you know, on in his side, he said Chris Brown is better than Michael Jackson. I have to ask you guys first: Who do y'all like? What, what do y'all think about this? Should he receive a lot of heat, or does he have an argument? Uh, what, did, what did he say? What did he say? Exactly. Yeah, I think that's what it was. He's saying Chris Brown is <laughs> exactly. better artist. Yep. Like, yep. So he's not saying more popular. He's not saying like more accomplished or anything like that. He's just saying artist. He's a better artist. More I skilled agree. in. I agree. Even that's tough. Oh, you got to explain Michael that. Michael Jackson wasn't Michael Jackson wasn't 
dude, come on. He wasn't playing basketball and graffiti and and <laughs> Well, okay, you're saying he was a better person, but none of that should have to no, do with No, I'm saying with better that. artist. I'm saying better singer. I think I think oh, Chris, you said Chris player, Brown you said is extreme. Basketball. Chris Brown yeah. is it's a hard one because I feel like yeah. when I feel like before Chris Brown was really, really uh uh I don't know, in the public eye, it was always the argument, okay, you got Michael Jackson, ooh, who's going to kind of come close to Michael Jackson? Is it going to be mm-hmm. Usher? And then when Chris Brown came, I feel like Chris yeah. Brown took Usher to, to third. I mean, I'm an Usher it fan. It was going but to be Chris. Yeah. It was going to be Chris. Yeah. And Most I think definitely. it was a while back when Chris did a, a, a tribute to Michael Jackson, back when he passed to uh, during the beat. He mm-hmm. killed it. The, I mean, it was, it was, I mean, tout to individual. I mean, Great, one of the greatest dancers. Man can, you know, he can sing, he can rap, he can. Act, I mean, if it wasn't for wise. the violent stuff, if it wasn't for that violent little whatever, yeah, it, he, we, yeah, he, he was, was definitely on a on a certain trajectory because I think right, but right before it happened, he he caught that Wrigley's commercial and things oh. were changing. Mm. For him. Like that yeah. was putting him in a whole new. Yeah. And then that happened, and then he became. Brisk breezy, and then it was yeah. basically how many like there. like hit singles. <laughs> <says>. not, not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think of how many hit singles he has. Not even like albums, but think of how many Wait, like individual yeah, that's true. hits he has. And this is he's supposedly canceled. Like this is him supposedly yeah. like reaping the the <laughs> negative aspects crazy. of all that violence that he displayed. This true. is and he's still yeah. winning. This yeah. is y'all must have forgot history, though. That's what I'm saying. His, he's not a bigger. <laughs> he's not a bigger influence than Michael. He's not okay. a bigger star. He's not a bigger celebrity. He's not okay. a bigger name because Michael Jackson had grown men passing out. Passing <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Fainting. But also Very consider fainting. like if Michael Jackson had lived longer mm-hmm. and wasn't you know addicted to drugs. We would have grown to hate him. All the issues he's having. We would have grown to hate him. You think Y'all so? Y'all social media is. <laughs> really? I would. Look, I would. I wouldn't think we'd grown to hate him. No. Real fast. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. I don't know mm. if we'd we grown. We would hate Martin Luther King if he was still alive. Jesus Christ. What? If Martin Luther King was still really? alive, black people would find a way to hate on him on social media. I guarantee that, it. That, okay. Okay. That was okay. a Boondocks episode. <laughs> really? <laughs> Not exactly like that, but Martin Luther. Yeah, like Martin came back. It was. It was, you should watch it. It was interesting. Um, I don't. I. I think. I think Michael Jackson is above social media. Like, there's certain characters or certain people that just don't. Like, they kind of transcend it. So I. I don't know if he would have been affected, but I. I. I do agree that the Me Too stuff probably would have ramped up a little for him and things like that. So. Things would have things would have possibly gotten a little hairy for Mike. I don't bad, know. Man. I don't know. Things we got bad mm. in the technology, technology, te- technology, <laughs> a te- technological. I can't even say it. Mm. Around this time, I just feel like you right. You know what? You right. He probably would have been at a level where it would have been not really bothering him. However, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. social media would have been on that. They they would have been tearing him apart left and right. I feel like yeah. the Michael hate would be extreme, and Chris would yeah. become therefore a bigger name. But we you know could have, could have, would have, should have, all that other stuff. For sure. Yeah. I just wonder yeah. what what type of like how he would have transitioned his music over the years. Sometimes I think about that, and I'm. I just think like, he would have been. I, I think he would have still been killing see. it. I mean, I think he would have made yeah. a you think so? ton of money. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he would have been working film, with today's that, artists and stuff like that. Like that last documented film that he did before he passed, uh, when they were uh, documenting like his upcoming this tour. Is this is it. Oh my yeah. gosh! I mean, seeing him like behind the scenes, how creative he was. It was it was unreal. And he was 54, 55 at the time, and he was killing it then. So, yeah. I mean, it surely would have helped his brothers out because I don't know if y'all seen his brothers lately. God, they looking rough. Oh, yeah. How Latoya yeah. doing? Has anybody checked on Latoya? Yo, I haven't. I know even Janet doing heard good. That name in years. See, wow. somebody need to check on our sister Latoya. We do need, That's to, not good. We do need to check on Latoya. <laughs> I haven't seen Jermaine in a long time. It's, it's, it's just team. Tito. Uh, it's like three brothers that it's Tito and uh, I don't know two other brothers that just going toward Jermaine. Not even. I, we, they we were here about... in Portsmouth. 
That's right. They were at the the casino. Yep. What about the other tea? This is the first tea. (laughs) We speculated oh, on oh, oh, my bad, my bad. You're right. The, you're right, you're right. the <laughs> most about, popular uh, member Tyrese of Gay. I mean, I mean, just Tyrese. You know, he oh, had Tyrese. Ty, that man had the, the the fro. He sung the anthem at one of the preseason games, I think, for the Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers. Now, I, I give it to him. Vocals was on point. But everybody yeah. was like, why the hell? What is what do, is he trying to... Do I not know history? Did Marvin Gaye sing the national anthem like he that? He did. And he... Okay, okay, okay. Need, Marvin Gaye did a hell of a lot better. Though. We need to, yeah, you need to I'll look it up because he did an amazing job. Oh, I bet that was amazing. Wait, oh, I got to go back and watch that. Marvin no, Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. what I saw Tyrese did, wasn't it? I didn't see, <laughs> I didn't see his performance. Once I knew what he was emulating, I couldn't even bring myself to watch it. I was like, "You can't emulate heard... Marvin Gaye." No, he first of all, he could have got away with just wearing of... the outfit. He didn't have to do the sideburns and fro. <laughs> but they showed he him. Looked, he did he look had crazy. The, he had the beard <laughs> connecting. He he looked like Arrington pretty much. But they showed him <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> what they showed him two days ago, and his face looked like normal. He still Tyrese. has it. Look. Oh, so I, I it was not. like glue on the glue, glue beard? Well, they showed him two days before the performance. Oh, bro, y'all know who y'all know who told who supported him by doing it though, right? For doing it, Terrence oh. Howard. You know, Terrence oh. flipped the hair and he said, "You go ahead and get him, Ty." If Terrence There's Howard no is the true. one in your corner, like you need to read. There's no way. That's not. That's not. That's not the one you want validating you. That's for sure. But but I, I will I will say though though Ciroc, yeah definitely when you get the chance to look look back at the old uh, Marvin Gaye one because Marvin Gaye for oh, when so he came I didn't even see that yeah oh it, yeah it was, clean. It was like yeah, from the eighties yeah yeah it mm-hmm. it might have even been in the seventies but he <laughs> killed it he killed it and, well you know and you know what too Cam the the interesting uh, thing uh, like Marvin Gaye did something yeah, that a lot of artists I think kind of not all a lot of artists can do today is make their own rendition of the anthem like it's mm-hmm. like how many times have we what do you mean fergie did it <laughs> hey yo chill <laughs> <laughs> why would you get fergie right now yo chill well no <laughs> he just right he now. just made a very <laughs> invalid statement he said <laughs> a lot of artists Damn. today can't make their own renditions, and Fergie Damn. definitely did make Damn. her own rendition. Damn. What we're not going to do, Cam, is you know, what we're not going to do is act like what that individual did. It was really spectacular. <laughs> spectacular. <laughs> he he mad. We working later. On a <laughs> <laughs> Man, what, what Fergie? Oh my so God! What Fergie did was it. <laughs> it was it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. But anyway. But yeah, um, no. Def- if y'all haven't seen Marvin Gaye's rendition of the National Anthem, I'm gonna, I'm it. gonna watch he, it. He literally made it a soul song. Like it was. Oh, that would be amazing. so good. It was amazing. Yeah. Mm. Well, family, look, we gonna we gonna go ahead and uh, move it on to one of our favorite segments of the day. It's time for what about the million dollar thing, bro. Oh my bad, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know. You're <laughs> terrible, niece. You're you're really bad at this today, man. Million dollars a buck. Sir, when do when do when do I when do That's I do nice three, title. sir? When do I do three? Okay, now, I gotta bring. Well, we combine the T and the T together. Okay, gotcha. PGT. Okay. Yeah. So check this out, fam. So this woman recently inherited a million dollars from an ex boyfriend of hers that they broke that broke up. They broke up thirty four years ago. Okay. Mm. The issue was her ex forgot to take her off as beneficiary, and so wow. when he passed. My man still had her name up there, oh, and that girl got that call and said, "What? Um, thank you, thank you." Now the man's brother's oh. like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> she was happy. He didn't even like you no more. Yeah, yeah, bro. They woke up thirty-four years ago. Oh my god, you'd be like, "I take back ago. everything I ever said about him." Everything. <laughs> I always loved him. I sure did. I always loved him. Wow. But, no, I'm gonna, uh, keep it, I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100. I'll be like, I don't even remember his middle name, but I tell you what, <laughs> this million dollars. Hey, hey, this million so dollars. Like, I don't remember, but this million dollars. I will take it. Yeah. So my, so, okay, y'all basically answered my question. I was gonna ask, man. So again, should she accept that money, or should she should she give it to the family, or give a little bit? Like, I mean, come on. I didn't hear all the details. I no. I think she should take some of it. But oh, I no. would definitely take some. I think no. she should take some of it. 
So hold on, I'll give you a little. I'll give you some. I'll give you some detail. I'm just giving you the years, right? So the dude filed the insurance papers back in '87. '87. Now they broke up in '89. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that poonating was fire, bro. Hey, that oh, was shit. fire, bro. He earned every penny. She earned every penny. He decided I'll right buy to your there. clothes. This pussy deserves a million dollars. Pay your rent. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Dog. Me and my lady been together for 15 years. She just got on my insurance a couple of hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and look at wow. Cam. Ciroc was thinking hard on that too. That he took some time. He took some deep thought. He's like, mm, Yeah. Mm, yeah. What do I oh God. Mm, You know what? Let me this pray on reminded it. me of Demaris is still on mine. Get him off your insurance, girl. I just he had a reason to make you disappear. No, oh. he got a six oh, figure shit. or more reason. Demaris oh, presents oh. the full oh, package. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to write a movie about this. Yeah, <laughs> Michelle, if you oh. gonna miss it, <laughs> right, if you, right, you know who to go for. Oh, you know Michelle, 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 Michelle. Oh Michelle, my god. Michelle, Michelle, that is hilarious. Yeah, like, that is that so stupid. Why would you forget? <laughs> also, me. Oh shit. Let me take my husband off. My <laughs> 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 nah. Nah. So y'all say y'all say keep, you say, like keep that money. The money from the family. She ain't taking that money from the family. And I guarantee you, they all the family who he left money for probably got their share. More than likely. Yeah. It probably, yeah, it probably wasn't all her. I mean, right. I'm hoping it wasn't. Hopefully, uh-huh. no one just but breaks like, out an even million dollar insurance policy. That's just no. Nah, it's definitely more than that. I'm I have a, that it's more than likely a fifty million dollar uh, insurance possibly, policy. Possibly, possibly. Uh, and she just wow. got a small piece of the pie, and the family a little salty, especially ones who didn't get no pie. I have a yeah. hard time believing he didn't check his policy in thirty something years. Also. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And he thought about that pussy every single time and said, "Nope, I remember nah. that shit back in '89, baby." That nah, nah, he called. He, he called her once a month. Be like, you know, you still on my policy, right? Like, um, <laughs> trying to slide through. <laughs> you taking care of? You taking yeah. care of? Yeah. That's Forever. the biggest game ever, right there. The least you yeah, can man. do is drop the pussy on me after you go. I'm going first. <laughs> Oh god! All the ribs I eat, you know I'm going. I'm first. sorry. <laughs> All the ribs if, I eat. <laughs> if you still got me on your policy after 30 years, I'm gonna give it to you. You are gonna get it. You are gonna get it after 30 years. I'm gonna make sure. Mm. You better not give it. up a penny. I'm saying. Lesson learned, folks. Check your papers regularly. All right. Check your papers. <laughs> check your papers. Check your papers. Definitely check your papers. Damn. Yeah. Look, we go. We go. Move on to. Whoops. Arrington's Arrington's Uh oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh Arrington's gone? gone. It's time. Yeah, he was cutting out. It's time for Ciroc. What you think? <laughs> All right. Are we gonna wait for Arrington to come back or are we just gonna tidy hug? We just gonna do it. We're just going to okay. do it. I got my uh, top golf cup here. And I'm <laughs> sipping <laughs> secondhand liquor. I got my new my new golf glove. I'm breaking it in. And I meant to ask you about that, but I'll wait, I'll wait to the yeah, end of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I got to ask objective. you about this, this golfing thing. I got dude, but dude, we'll, we'll, this, yeah, is what yeah, we, yeah. this is what we here for. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when I was in elementary school, right? When I was in elementary school, I um, realized that I had a special talent when it came to public speaking and uh, in front of large crowds, especially when I was in uh, middle school, I realized that it was a little bit more than the average Joe Smo when it came to thespianism and, you know, acting, remembering lines, um, performing in general. Entertainment has always kind of been my vibe. And it just when I came, became an adult, a free adult, I, you know, it was just one of those passions that became my whole, almost my whole life, like almost my whole identity. 
but going back to elementary school, middle school, high school, it was something that no one had taught me. No one broke it down to me on what it is or how you even do it. I didn't go to no school of arts. I wasn't professionally trained by someone who has X excess amount of um, what you call it, uh, what is it, art degrees and stuff like that. I just, I'm not no pro or pro trained when it comes to entertainment. I just kind of knew. I got that same feeling when it comes to golf. I haven't been playing for, I've probably been playing for about a month now. And um, I haven't been to no classes, no schools. No one has talked to me about my game or nothing. I'm literally just learning from the ground, from zero up. And um, mm. I feel the same way that I felt about entertainment. The game, it just comes to me crazy easy, even without me knowing the basics or the foundation of the sport. Yeah, I know how to keep track of my score. Yeah, I know how to understand a lingo or pick a club. But no one has ever shown me a real golf swing until a month ago where I did a golf swing. I recently played my first game. About a week ago, I played my first actual game uh, on nine courses. And um, I hit plus seven. Now, if mm. you've never played golf before, plus seven on is a nine? bad score. That is a uh, – yeah, but yeah. as a as a wow. beginner, that's as pretty a, damn good. That's pretty damn yeah. good. It's people yeah. who leave that course with plus 30 the first time they play. Yep. Now, with me having no training, no idea on how to even, you know, decide where I'm at. I didn't know what rough, green, smooth. I don't know what none of this stuff is. I'm literally learning as I go. And my passion is boiling over, man. It feels the exact same way as it did with entertainment when I first started. So that leads me to my question for y'all. All right. I'm 34, 33, 34, 33. I'm one of them ages. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty late. There's people who's been in this sport for years, starting off when they were 10, even younger than that. Same way when it came entertainment. I started pretty late when it start uh when you think about it in the stand up comedy game. I told my first joke at 25. That is beyond late when it comes to that type of stuff. Yeah. Um, mm. you guys started your businesses pretty I would say not late, but you on the curve. Y'all want to curve when y'all businesses started off. Except for Eric, he's been oh, on this yeah. shit for, for, yeah. forever. Eric's but... like 17 years old, man. <laughs> Two years old, he got his LLC. Guys, we heard this up, I got a curfew. But my question is, late. is it too late for me to make this a passion, or should I just keep it as Hell a Hell no. Never I mean, too late, sir. Are, are you late. trying to go PGA? Like, I, I well, think you need to PGA. be realistic However, about your goal. Can, can, can. That's pushing the camp. There's tournaments there's where if I would have played, yeah. if I would have played in some of those tournaments, I probably would have placed in top 10 at least. Some of Same. them I would have played yeah. top five, depending on the area that I was in, based off the scores that I've recently had over the past month. I don't think you're ever too late to discover a new passion. I started, yeah, I started back into DJing a little while ago. Like, mm. have fun. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. I think have y'all thought of makes your, passions? Like, I think just to answer what you said, I think what keeps our minds young and keeps us prevents dementia and, you know, just mm. in general, like losing memory when you don't have mm. muscle exercise with your brain, too, and doing new things like that and taking it to a level of trying to master it. I actually think there's probably studies that show that can prevent, you know, some level of dementia later in life because we have mm. to exercise our brain. So I don't care if you're 60, 70, 80 people. There's people in the 60s and 70s that go to school, go to college for the first time, and they're probably better off for it. And Are they wrong, really? To be honest. There's 60 year olds yeah. going to college for the first time? Oh, Just because they want to. Yeah. Yep. They were in my, they they were like, in my classes. Hell yeah. Yep. I love I that for them. The hell out of them. Now, yeah. Ciroc, yep. I'm different. I'm sorry. I ain't going to be in my ABI. I think I want to get another degree. Fuck that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> After I was like, but Arrington, you I'm hate school, though. Teachers and professors. Yeah. I'm good. yeah, I do. But I think, too, for me, wait, I'm is, always like, if I want to get more education, you, let me just time get a out. certificate time and out. not get time education. Arrington, wait. What did he just say? What did Ciroc just say? We talk about passions. Let him finish. <laughs> no, you just said something wild. But all right, Aaron, I let I let him I let him have it. He just said something wild, and I caught the tail end of it. But go ahead, <laughs> no, I was gonna I was gonna say now, mm -hmm. um, as far as like 
like getting like certified in something, I'm all for. But school wise, no, I was I was done. I was done after undergrad. I'm like, nah, I don't know. Yeah. Not going back. But um, but yeah, I, I know Sirac had that. asked earlier, like you know, any of our like, are we thinking about any passions? And any, honestly, man, it's like passions that you haven't started yet that you don't know much about. Literally, ground zero. Ooh, I don't know. Dude, I would like to. I would like piano. to learn it. I would like to learn how to play an instrument like good because I was in high school, but I never took it serious. Like it was like mm. an elective, so I did the sax and I did the trumpet. Mm. Never took it serious, but I wish. But really, it wasn't like my my favorite. It was like okay, it wasn't a passion, passion for real. It wasn't. But now it's like the older mm. I get, I'm like, damn, I wish I could learn how to play the piano. Damn, I wish I learned how to can play the bass or what. You know, I I do have those thoughts. Are of, like, you musically so inclined? Like is music no. is music? I didn't think cool? so. I wasn't gonna answer for him, yeah, but I didn't. It'd be hard to learn. It'd Nothing be about loud. Arrington says music to me. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> you should try. You should try on oh, some serious stuff. You should try and see if you reignite it, or you might stumble into a new passion that you didn't think about while True. you're fumbling around with. True. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I will I say, Sirak, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you that you learn that you're doing good at golf because. So I've been a member of a country club for a minute, and golfing is like the main attraction. I ain't, I don't even have clubs, and I, oh I have a good buddy of mine that's always like saying, "Bro, I'm at the, I'm at the club, I'm at the golf range. I've been invited to like a lot of like you know charity events, like, oh, no. and you don't got no clubs. <laughs> I don't have bro, no clubs, bro. Let, we need to play. <laughs> when I, when I, when I, I want to, I want to get in on this too because this is something I that think I y'all should definitely play. do it. Yeah, absolutely. Look. Absolutely. Let me know in the group chat if y'all want to play, and I will help y'all find clubs that one fit in are mad affordable. So if you don't like, if you fall off and be like, nah, that's not my sport, I tried. You know, you don't feel bad. You don't spend a lot of money. My first set of clubs yeah. was $14. I got it from Goodwill. Mm. Yeah, my that's yo. You are speaking Arrington's language you, right now. Man. <laughs> that's a deal. Look, that's Cam, a I got deal. Too, I got too many expensive hobbies, man. I got too many. I need some. I need some affordable hobbies, bro. You are yeah. speaking his language. You said four, you said fourteen. My first game. My first game I ever played. I got on the green. Um, my tee time was at three o'clock. I paid fourteen dollars in total, and I got my cart, and I got to play front nine. So I got to play nine courses in a golf cart for fourteen bucks. Mm. Oh, we got. We definitely got to do this. Mm-hmm. We definitely got to do this. We yeah. don't got to do the expensive stuff. Now, I will say, the expensive stuff is fun. Who like makes what? it better? However. What's the expensive <laughs> stuff? Yeah, what is the uh, expensive the stuff? Private clubs. It's nice. Oh. They got cart girls that come up. To... <laughs> oh, they got what? Bring what? it back. So Br- bring I it back. Say, so, uh, you got any new passions that you're thinking about? <laughs> any, new hobbies that you, any hobbies that you're doing now that might develop to a passion? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my God. I know. Okay. So I know for me, I'm like really big into skincare. And I've always been really big into, I invest a, a tremendous amount of money every year in like microneedling and laser treatments, you know, trying to keep my skin youthful, of course. And so Mm -hmm. I recently looked up a master esthetician course because I've done so much. Like I bought my own microneedling pen. I bought some laser machines. Like I literally Mm -hmm. do a lot already. So I've been thinking about taking the course to learn the biology of it so that I can kind of better do it for myself, but also just to do it for night, you know, just to help, like just to do as gifts to other That's people around example. me. That's a good example. That's a good example of a hobby coming into a passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see makeup yeah. artist in Mua and Michelle's bio. <laughs> 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 That's the anyway, point for reason. Hustle point for reason. Mua. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. How about you? Sam? I think Any new, uh, besides golf. That we are, hey, we're going to be serious about, by the way. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we're doing this. We're doing so, this. So, uh, besides golf, what is uh, any new hobby or new passion that you've been thinking about? The, Ground zero. The, the DJ thing. DJ. The DJ thing. Oh, right? yeah. yeah you would be so good at I'm that. Really, really getting serious about this. I got to practice more with transitions and stuff like that, but I'm mm-hmm. building my library and things. I have a couple of good friends that are DJs, and I'm, I'm having now, fun with it. Now, question. Yeah. 
your disdain for modern music will it get in your I way? don't know no no I do not have a disdain for you, modern music you, that is not true I think that was an eight, that was a jam at his age, huh? <laughs> that is disdain not true disdain is the perfect word to use for what Cam if, talks if about. we're talking about sexy red yeah that's not my <laughs> cup of tea but there are a lot of there are a lot of new artists that I rock with there are a lot of new artists that I rock with um, some things that just ain't for me, but I, I also know that I'll still have to play things yeah. that the audience wants to hear because that's just how it works, you know. But yeah, no, I'm having a, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I actually have a gig coming up in November. Oh. So, Ooh. um, wait, silent, what's your DJ name? I'm just calling yeah. him. I'm, I'm not doing the whole oh, pseudonym thing. Whack. Yeah, whack. I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> Call me Kim. That's where wow. I am on all socials, by the way. That's who that's where we at. That's where we at. But uh oh shit. What just what did I do? What did what happened? Uh we lost the rock. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, wait, I don't know what I was trying to I was trying to reorganize better. Okay, it's not moving. All right, anyway. Um we got yeah, Silent we Disco. Name, Carla is frozen. her name. I'll shout out her. Yeah, you need a DJ name. You, you no, 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 I don't. You said call, call me Cam? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. Th- that is my you name. call me That's Cam Hill. Let's That's call what? him. Uh, no, no. Let's it's see. not even DJ call me Cam. It's just call me Cam. That's Cam, it. you're, you're ruining the tradition. You have to have DJ in front of the name. No, you don't. We're going to call him Cam Underground Music. And for short, we'll call him Cam. DJ Cam. And they gonna be like, All right. what so, for? I'll be like, so, Aaron, hey Cam, can you start music? Intro for uh, Michelle's corner now? Can, can, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done now. Do, let's yeah. do anything else besides yeah. what the fuck <laughs> the Rock is talking about. Why is his hand in there? Why is he holding? All right. Why was he holding his arm in his air like he in the in, in the air like he just hit a step three? Like he just like he just hit some shit. Like keep it up there. Keep it up there. Nah, we moving on, bro. We moving on. Oh, man. <laughs> Good stuff, man. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Well, look, look, we're gonna uh, have to uh uh I think we, we have to we have to do a show at a golf course now. I feel like oh, I feel yeah, like we have yeah, to I do think you guys now. should. And and I You're not gonna golf watch. with us? You're I want to be. I want to drive the cart. I mean, I might. I know. Hit, I hit a few balls. You're rich. Rich people play golf. They're all. Why did she play. still try to make it sound freaky? Like because Michelle is nasty. That's why I can't. No, Michelle is no nasty. Can I, on the can golf I hang court. out with the cur- the girls? That's why that I need the play. I'm already hypersexual. I don't need the freakiness on the golf course. No. Nasty. <laughs> but what about the girls? You said the girls come, so I, you know. Go to golf course. <laughs> The girls come. The girls All right, we got to move no, on. No, no, Can we please move it on? No, 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 no. We gotta... It's time for Michelle's Corner. Yeah. <laughs> for Michelle's Corner. All right. All right. So we're going to talk about capital punishment, which seems like such a very depressing <laughs> topic to talk about. So what but, I, the expression I had, rock same expression. Yeah, like, what in the hell? Why are you talking about this? Okay, so I was watching this special on Netflix because I love crime shows. If y'all watch, like, you know, some of these forensic file type of crime shows, and I was watching a show, and they were talking about how Tennessee is basically the only state left that still gives inmates the option who are basically sentenced to death, gives them the option to go to be to be killed by yeah yes by either well either injection or by the electric chair but how i know which is crazy they give them the choice you can be electrocuted or you can get injected like hey my man how you want to (laughs) die yeah (laughs) exactly but how they do it is very different now so when you when you go when you get electrocuted they put you to sleep first and then they electrocute you. But when they do that, you're literally, you're gone within the first three seconds. Mm. Whereas when they inject you, they do a source of three injections. One injection paralyzes you. One injection comp kind of puts you to sleep. And then the other injection kills you. It takes longer. So my question, because I was having a debate with Zeke about this on which one we would choose. 
would you rather would you rather go to sleep and get electrocuted and be gone in three seconds or would you rather <laughs> y'all seen y'all seen law abiding citizen right y'all um, seen what they did I wasn't gonna go for law abiding citizen I was gonna go with a uh, green mile this seems like a good green ooh, mile reference ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but he's awake he's awake think about it that one that man <laughs> That's crazy. That that is disturbing. I saw that. But well, which one up? would you How choose? You don't wake up and when you get you electrocuted. Well, this I'm is not, what I'm... they say. They said when you're electrocuted, you don't wake up at all. But there is a percentage. There's a certain percentage chance you will wake up while you're being injected. Cooked. Basically, oh, you'll wake up yeah. and you're paralyzed, and hmm. you're and then you you could your heart is stopping. And some they've had people who will like sit up and like in the middle of being injected. But the electric chair, they put you to sleep and then they electrocute you. You're gone in three seconds. So which one would you choose? Three seconds. No, electrocute yeah. me. That's what I was me. saying. That's exactly what I was like. Mm, I'd be gone I don't, don't want to don't be electrocuted. No. Mm, mm. I, like, let me the three, the three, the three phases of you killing me. No, yeah. it, but it but really I mean you're not you don't feel nothing. You look like just slowly going to sleep. It's like going into anesthesia and not feel? waking up. You could wake up. You could wake up. you could wake up during the lethal injection. It's possible to wake up and you'll be paralyzed and while being administered the final. Have y'all got? Dose. Have y'all shocked your finger on like a doorknob? <laughs> y'all know how hot oh that how bad goodness. that hurts. I'm not. But you're I'm not like my whole body. You know, like no. you know, like when you're in surgery, they put you. <laughs> Out like Yo, like as if you're in surgery. What's wrong with what's wrong with him? Yo, my what's man wrong with him? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, wow. you never open the door, and I'm like, ah, ah, man, shot. You know, I'd rather just, you know, just <laughs> go on, stick me with the needle. Come on. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> I don't, watch, I don't watch law abiding there. citizen. And tell me if you feel the same way. I don't believe in capital punishment. I don't like capital okay. punishment. Yeah, I don't. I mean, and I know I that agree. is ridiculously hypocritical of me. <laughs> why is it why is that hypocritical? Because there are men who pray to their Lord to stop me and it did not work. So it is yeah. ridiculously hypocritical of me to say that, you know, the capital punishment ain't the considering. How but yeah, I'm just not a uh, yeah. I'm just not a fan of it, man. Especially if they a... did something cold blooded. I'd rather them rot. Like I want them to, to deteriorate in the I agree. cell. I agree. Yeah. You know the old school cartoons with Tom and Jerry in it, and they'd be like a skull, this shackled to the wall. No, no food. I no, you the bathroom. <laughs> no. So Rock will be that guy. Like, oh, oh, you hungry? No. <laughs> like, mm. When he got red with a mouse, yeah, I want that. I want that for people who. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I don't like capital punishment, man. And Tennessee crazy for still doing the election. That's so That's wild. wild. Yeah, that I didn't. Wild. I didn't that know that. I literally that did crazy. not believe it, and then I looked it up because I. I was like, this must be a really old show, and I looked it up, and I was like, no, literally, like they still. They still do that in Tennessee. Of course, out of the country, you know, mm. not a lot of places. I was about to say, are they the only ones or are they other countries? I feel like Louisiana would do something like that just because. They were like, one of the Louisiana. last. Louisiana. No, listen, oh, Louisiana, Louisiana no. Alabama, um, Louisiana, Alabama, basically all all the states surrounding that. So the southern states like that, in they Kentucky. had it the longest. Yeah, it was Kentucky was one. They're the ones that had it the longest, but uh, Tennessee is the only one remaining. But they give them the option. For, for the but they, chair. Yeah, but they put them to sleep, which is different because obviously when they used when it used to be more legal in other states, they didn't put them to sleep. They just they put just that did bag it. over their head. And you heard and you felt mm. it. You felt and it. Like boy, they sent that man through the chicken, the chicken Chick-fil-A. Like, what all right, so in other countries, <laughs> do they electric chair? No. Or do they? Is there any I mean, capital punishment in other countries? I like, think there's developed? worse in other yeah, countries. They do, they do worse, I mean, yeah. like Europe, Russia, Stone. China. Yeah. So, like, so rock. I remember, mm -hmm. um, not not Osama bin Laden, but it was another guy, like Saddam Hussein or something. I remember when he was like, they like hung him. Like they took him back to his country. They hung him. And, oh. like, yes, sir. As an official act of the government, not the people. 
the government no, body. The go- no, the government, because the the you know, the United States the one that captured him, but they took him mm-hmm. back to you know where he came from because mm-hmm. man, yeah, it definitely wasn't um Bin Laden because he got he he got killed like he they they okay. went in and they got him yeah so. I'll be getting um, all the names mixed up. I don't want to say my personal. I don't want to get canceled for being racist. So yeah. I, I got to be yep. careful on this topic. Nope. Go, go with that thought. <laughs> Stay with that 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 thought right so. there. That I one. think other there's Keep a lot of countries though that do like you know they still will do a firing squad. They'll still stone yeah, that's them. Like, firing squad. The are belts, crazy. though. I'm think okay. Yeah. yeah, I've seen firing Not, squads from yeah. third world. Like they eaten. Roaches from the underneath the rocks type country. That would be those countries. Yeah. I don't think Ooh. like structured. Now, I don't know. You think about Russia. Come on now. I bet you Russia does something crazy. Come on. Russia. But not because they don't know. have the capabilities, just because no, they think they it's fun. To. Yeah. yeah. I, feel I feel like, like Russia is the. I think about Russia and I feel like they're just a bolder version of America. Like they're the opposite of America, but the same. Like development wise, mm. Russia's the same. They have all the same resources we have. Why would they be so barbaric when it comes to execution? Because besides the them. propaganda that we read about Russia, you know, mm. yeah. uh, it just I don't see developed countries doing crazy stuff like electric chairs, hangings, firing squads. Man, that's drawn in, drawn and quartered, drawn and quartered. That is a wild yeah. thing. Well, they still do, obviously, in the with? Middle Brown East, man? they still stone women to death for mm. for mm. C- committing adultery. They still do that to this day. Wow. That's their punishment. They will stone them in the streets to death. Boy. You- Can I say this is the darkest uh, Michelle's Corner I think I've ever yeah, for real. Uh, witnessed? <laughs> just want to no acknowledge crime stuff, man. Yeah. I love crime shows. Crime shows are... I mean, I did, they're very I'm educational. Lie. I'm trying to binge watch uh, Law and Order from the beginning. It's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, but you watch some of these like documentaries, and it's honestly crazy. It's Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> it's Law and Order, amen. I'm saying, <laughs> like, I like I literally watched it when Ice T first came onto the show. Like, I just, I never, I, like, I grew up watching. I it. remember that Ice T was always on. I remember that. I, that was pretty cool. I remember mm. Ice T first came on the game. You know, ponytail, ponytail, Ice T. Like, you know, it was like mad gelled up. It, it was, was mad gelled up. Hey, y'all don't remember how much, dude? The first ponytail that he had. On Law and Order, you can see the camera's reflection. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, have Go you back. ever encountered a detective with a ponytail for one? It's like, nah, you ain't no detective. Get out of here. Nah. I like the fact that Ice T has like three lines in each episode. <laughs> Man, this where is messed up. <laughs> yeah, where, where yeah, he where said, he at? Throw him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> The older, oh. I mean, the newer ones, he had a lot of lines. But yeah, the new ones, he became like a prominent, you know, he was yeah. promoted and stuff. His yeah. career he really pro- shot he up. He got promoted after 15 years. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, collect lead. that check, Ice. Collect that. He is now collect assistant lead detective. I get it. <laughs> the last one I seen, Olivia Benson is the captain. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, mm. it's her. It's her show now. It's Bro, her that, show. I like that. That show has been on for like over well over forever. Yeah. yeah. At some points, do you think Those like last like that anymore? No. No. They be gone. Nah, Dick like Wolf. Seasons. Dick Wolf got the magic. Pause. But who? <laughs> Wolf. Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. Oh, the dude. Yeah. Who... Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. My yeah. brain. He created. I think he got that. the Chicago. He got the Chicago yep. series too, right? Yep. Chicago's mm, and Orders, and I think there's another crazy one that money. he has. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dick that Green. man. That man is paid also. Well, well, look, fam, I think we we coming up to that that time of the show. But before uh before we close it up though, I gotta acknowledge we're gonna uh be at Bethany Baptist Church. I think a few of us, I know Michelle, you're gonna have a great vacation and we wanna wish you a safe yes. travels and enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'm excited. But, yes, yes. So where where you going to? Orlando. Okay, okay, okay. Have fun. Hey, I heard they have bad alligators out there, so be careful, you know. Oh, we're gonna be zip lining no, over They got them, some you know? dope new clubs. They got some dope oh, yeah. new clubs that's off the chain. Yep, mm-hmm. we're gonna be I going to some of those. 
Yeah, yeah. My look, my daughter turned twenty one, so we will be taking her to some spots down there. Oh, y'all, y'all gonna be wilding then. She, she gonna have a good time then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wasn't talking about strip clubs. No, everybody just naked. The men, the women, the bartenders, everybody. Florida. I That's ain't never been, very but I'll send you the location. <laughs> yeah, send me the send me the send me them locations. Just, just for it's a twenty five. It's a twenty five dollars entry fee for the group, not every individual. So don't let them trick you okay. into making you pay twenty dollars five dollars per person. It's for the you. group. For I, the I've group. never been. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lot of good information. You got like an inside man that tells you this information, Sirac. Like that's, that's so, a, Sirac. When you go in the doors, you go to the. When you first go in the doors, you go to the left or the right. <laughs> well, no, it's straight. There's no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Do you order a buffalo wings and what, like what's what's the, what's a good appetizer to get? <laughs> I've never been, but <laughs> you gotta walk straight to the beads. Walk straight to the beads. <laughs> oh man, man. What's oh wait, so, uh, so I do got the um. I'm performing at the Made in Newport News. Um, let's go. Let's go. Made in Newport News thing uh, this Saturday. Um, I'm also performing at the fr- ocean front uh, Saturday morning. So, if y'all out in the ocean mm-hmm. front or uh, out in Newport News in the afternoon, see us out there. My man Yay. got two shows in one I day. I know that's fun. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. My God. Uh, my God. And what you got, man? What you got going on the rest of the weekend? Um, working, man. Head down. We got a couple projects I'm working on right now. Um, I saw Alvin. Was that Alvin in the background? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to pass some files over to him so he could do some work too. We just spread hey. the work around over here. Hey. <laughs> good yeah, stuff, yeah. good stuff, good stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, y'all look the uh my foundation. We're having our fifth annual back to school giveaway uh next Saturday. So I'm very excited about that. Last year we uh we hit about six hundred families, a little over six hundred families. So we want to try and dope, keep bro. that average That's going, dope. man. That's really and dope. uh we're gonna have a good time. We got great vendors, resource vendors out there. It's just it's just a good time, you know, free haircuts, face painting. You know the whole night, and of course, in your city will be there as well. Well, now I feel bad about taking that box. Around the corner. Yeah, I feel bad about taking that box of bags out of your office. I'll bring them back next week. (laughs) (laughs) So you're you're the one that took those. I'm thinking y'all. I'm thinking y'all wasn't doing a real inventory. My bad. I bring them back. (laughs) Hey, Cam did one. Cam did one of these. He said. I come with so much stuff, like I just threw it on the side, like ah, oh, he won't notice. Whatever. He won't notice. He won't notice. You know what? I can get on the street for these, man. Look, this is Jan Sport. What? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, look, y'all. Look, continue to support. Follow in your city. Follow us on uh, in your city too on Instagram right now, as well as check us out on YouTube and all digital and streaming platforms, man. Uh, we're going to keep on giving some good content and some interviews, upcoming interviews coming shortly. And, uh, yeah, man, just continue to support. Follow us weekly. Yeah. We out. We out. <laughs>